Hello there, and welcome to what I can only call an NPC review. I've released a bunch of videos, basically uh, how-tos, tutorials, whatever you want to call them, on how to defeat various NPC bases. And I found myself with a whole bunch of them sitting on the map, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to slap these all together. I'm going to make a nice little review video, show that, you know, even without boosting, because I think for some of them I was boosted, I, these strategies make these NPC bases wicked, wicked easy. So you can, you can see Ratchet here. I'm going through, I'm doing pretty much the exact same stuff that I did on the other one, obviously because yeah, every attack is slightly different. This one kind of, you know, it may vary, but the the bones of the attack are still the same. So we're cruising through this. The, the tanks are high enough of a level. I don't have to worry about anything. I currently do have loot boost on, but that's just because I just finished Dr. T and, uh, you know, I wanted to make use of those statues, but I'm not actually boosting health, damage, GB, no, no, nothing like that. So this is Oh Natural attacking, I guess? Hmm. Um, so basically, that's Ratchet going down. I'm going to use the magical transfers to flip over here to cut above and can do the same old thing on cut above that oh crap I missed a uh, mine there apparently anyways uh, the usual just just showing that these are still feasible and they are actually fun to use that aside I'm hoping in the near future to get some more dr. T related videos out there. I think I have formed a strategy for getting them out in a timely fashion so that they, you know, are actually useful to people. Um, I, hopefully it'll work out and it'll, it'll help some people. And also, I, I've been looking at our task force recently and we, we still have some room to fit some extra people in there, but we are pretty steadily taking down Mambo, and it's, uh, it's, it's going pretty good, so I'm thinking of getting some op attacks maybe in there, uh, roughly showcase how to approach certain maps or attacks that could be used, uh, different strategies that would come in helpful, if you guys would like to see stuff like that, please definitely let me know. Uh, and, you know, I can put a lot more emphasis on getting those done. Um, aside from that, it's pretty smooth sailing. We're, we're already on to Ascetic here. And, you know, I, I probably could have beaten this base without even landing my tanks. Because, as you can see, I, I dropped those critters just to kind of speed things up. And none of the cannons even turned to them. Like, I, I literally could have just doused the, the HQ with critters and sat back and let them do their thing. But that would, I guess, be counterintuitive to what I'm trying to show you with the, the video here of just proof of concept. I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, moving on to Cutter. This time, I actually got that middle cannon down low enough I could just use an artillery to finish it off. So, it helps conserve GBE, and everybody enjoys that. I also was able to throw some extra critters up top there to farm up the... What, I guess those are uh, wood storage huts? Lumber storage? I, I'm not sure what they're actually called. I've never gone in to look and figure out the name. The place where you put the woods in the things. You know, the one. Anyways, <clears throat> this base going down nice and easy, like all of them. And uh, with with a full complement, or at least fuller complement of tanks than I normally do NPC bases with, they're even that much easier. We got another cut above here. 
And this one almost seems to be a cut below because these shock launchers are so close to dying just from that barrage. It's not even funny. Also, a Christmas themed map, which is kind of nice. We got our evergreens floating around on the left hand side there. I wonder, you know, if Supercell has plans for maybe around actual Christmas. I'm just saying, like a, a Santa bird flying over the island might be kind of cool. Who knows? Anyways, I actually missed the top boom mines. The top two boom mines. The. I guess top boom mine normally gets taken out by the critters, but I missed with that. And it actually worked out because by the time I move into this position, nothing can attack me. So even though I ran over those boom mines, I don't care because my, my tanks are going to be at full health and they're not in danger of getting whacked. Which brings us to the next attempt at Cut Above, which almost goes the exact same way. Um, the, the shock launchers are almost cleared out. I, I'm looking forward to like one more level on that party because that will pretty much make that a lock. And then of course my critters, for whatever reason, decided the one boom mine that needed to go down, nah, it could stay. So, uh, we're, we're in a similar situation to the last run through. But this time, I, I changed it up a little bit and actually av tried to avoid the boom cannon, or sorry, the boom mines. And as you can see, it, it's not that difficult. And it leaves my medics something to do because they were looking pretty bored. And it ultimately fails as I run over every possible mine. Anyways, um, the, it looks like... Hopefully in the, the coming days I'll have a little more time. I'll be able to get the Dr. T out there. And hopefully we will be able to clear the map a couple times also. Anyways, uh, good luck guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time around.